Hello everyone, I'm Travis and let's get Wanderlost. In this video, we're going to do a full ship tour of Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. Navigator of the Seas is a Voyager class ship. It entered service in 2002 and recently went through the Amplified remodel in 2019. Navigator of the Seas is currently homeported in Los Angeles, California. It is doing three, four, and seven day cruises to Mexico and Catalina Islands. When Navigator entered service in 2002, it was the largest cruise ship in the world. It has a capacity of roughly 4,000 passengers and weighs about 140,000 gross tons. A lot has changed in the cruise ship industry since Navigator came into service. Currently it is ranked 51st in largest size, which would be considered a medium sized cruise ship now. That's enough trivia about Navigator of the Seas, let's start the tour! We'll start on Deck 4, which is the same deck you'll enter the ship on on Embarkation Day. On the left, while you're heading towards the front of the ship, is Boleros. Boleros is on almost every single Royal Caribbean ship. It is known for live music and dancing. On the right side of Deck 4, as you head towards the front of the ship, is Starbucks. The Starbucks above Navigator of the Seas serves all your normal Starbucks favorites that you would get at a regular Starbucks, but with a catch, none of the drinks there or none of the food there are part of any of the dining or drink packages aboard. As you head towards the front of the ship on Deck 4, you will run through Casino Royale. The casino aboard Navigator of the Seas has a ton of slot machines, table games, and roulette. Make sure you join Royal Caribbean's Club Royale to get all the latest information and offers that they have through the casino. The exit of the casino leads into the Schooner Bar. The Schooner Bar is on just about every single Royal Caribbean ship and it's a nautical themed bar. In this location they do a lot of live music, they do trivia, and with the televisions in the bar area they even play sports. The Schooner Bar is one of the more popular locations aboard Navigator of the Seas. On the opposite side of the schooner bar is Hooked. Hooked is a seafood restaurant that is part of the specialty dining program with Royal Caribbean. It is one of our more favorite Royal Caribbean restaurants, so make sure you give it a try. And make sure you get the lobster. It's the best. As we head up the stairs to Deck 5, we enter the Royal Promenade. The Royal Promenade is the main shopping and entertainment district on Navigator of the Seas. Heading from the front of the ship to the back of the ship, on the right hand side you will have Playmakers. Playmakers is Royal Caribbean's sports bar at sea. This is so you can never miss a game even if you're on vacation. If you don't have the dining package, the food at Playmakers is super cheap and good, and the drinks are always cold. 
This is also where the pool table, foosball table, and some video games are located. On the opposite side of Playmakers is Cafe Promenade. Cafe Promenade is a great place to get pizza, small little sandwiches, and snacks. It is also the best place on the ship to get your specialty coffee with your drink package. At the very end of Cafe Promenade is where you would get your Ben & Jerry's ice cream at. It is also where there are two Coke Freestyle machines that work with your soda or drink package. Continuing through the promenade, on the left is To Drive For. To Drive For is a salon where you can get a haircut or other salon services while you're on vacation. Directly across from To Drive For is the Copper and Clover. This is the English pub aboard Navigator of the Seas. They normally have live music here and really good drinks. And for good luck at the Copper and Clover, make sure you pet the dog. Another amazing venue on the Royal Promenade on the left hand side is the Bamboo Room. The Bamboo Room is a tiki bar and it has really good drinks and a really good atmosphere. When you go to the bamboo room, make sure you say hello to Cliff the Parrot for us. Across from the Bamboo Room is The Collection. This is Royal Caribbean's merchandise shop on Navigator of the Seas. There really is a large hodgepodge of merchandise here. Most of it has Royal Caribbean logos on it. Some of it is just kind of strange. They sell everything from souvenirs to necessities that you might have forgotten before you got on the ship. Further down towards the back of the ship is the Regalia Shop. This location specializes in jewelry and watches. And opposite of the jewelry shop is Port Merchants. This is your duty-free shop which has cigarettes and alcohol. As we 
head towards the end of the promenade. On the left hand side you will find the shore excursions desk. This is where you can book and get information on all the shore excursions that are available on your Royal Caribbean cruise. And next to the shore excursion desk is guest services. Guest services is where you can go if you ever have a concern on your cruise. Myself and Nicole are always curious what people are complaining about. You're on a cruise, it's vacation, it's fun, let's go! On the other side from guest services is the R bar. The R bar kind of reminds us of the champagne bars that are on like Adventure of the Seas and Oasis of the Seas. While we were aboard Navigator of the Sea, they did several parties in the promenade. Mostly the 70s party and the 80s party. Let's head down to Deck 3. One of the first areas you come up to on Deck 3 is the Photo Gallery. This is where you can get all your Royal Caribbean photos and even do a photo shoot. And next to the photo gallery is the art gallery. They do art auctions and you can buy nice works of art while you're aboard your cruise. The most important part of Deck 3 is Studio B. Studio B is the ice skating rink aboard Navigator of the Seas. The ice skating rink is where they do the ice shows, they do the laser tag, it's also where Crazy Quest takes place. It's a really good venue aboard this ship. Our two most favorite areas to sit in Studio B are in the corner near the front of the ice rink and then at the top in the little pods that have their own little table. At the front of the ship, on decks 3, 4, and 5, you'll find the Royal Theater. The Royal Theater is where all of your stage shows take place, and on Navigator they have two really good ones. They have the Showgirls Show and the Ballroom Dance Show. This is also where Love and Marriage takes place and all of the headliner shows. Our favorite place to sit is up in the balcony, front row, either on the right or the left side. We kind of feel like Slater and Waldorf from the Muppets when we sit up there, but it's the best view of the entire venue. It doesn't matter if you choose the balcony or the lower theater seating, there's a bar in each area.
of our favorite venues is above the Royal Theater. It's called the Star Lounge. The Star Lounge is where they do trivia, live music, and other events. The seating in the Star Lounge is super comfortable. And the bar is only steps away. The Diamond Lounge is also in the entranceway to the Star Lounge. The Diamond Club is where Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle members can go. As you can tell, it was locked because we're still Emerald. As I said, the Star Lounge is an excellent venue. Just make sure you brush up on your Harry Potter trivia before the cruise starts. Near the back of the ship on deck 6 is the next cruise desk. Next cruise is where you can book your next cruise while you're on your current cruise. You can also use next cruise services from the Royal Caribbean app. From the app all you have to do is put down a deposit and then it'll give you an itinerary number that you can call later after you get off the ship. Now we're going to run up to deck 13 and go to the sports zone. At the back of the ship on deck 13 is where you'll find the basketball court, rock climbing walls, water slides, flow rider, and the entrance to the living room which is the teens only area. Our favorite of the water slides was the aqua coaster. It reminded us a lot of the aqua coaster at Typhoon Lagoon at Walt Disney World. The other water slide is also really good. You go down face first on a mat and the water is heated. There are always events going on in this section of the ship, especially on port days. They'll have basketball tournaments, rock climbing competitions, and the flow rider is almost always going with people using it.
the front of the ship on deck 13 you'll find Navigator Dunes, this is the mini golf course. In addition to having the miniature golf course, deck 13 also serves as the sun deck and there is plenty of chairs to lounge around. Now we'll head back down to deck 11, where the pool deck is, and we'll start in the solarium. The solarium is an adults only area of the pool deck where you have to be at least 16 years of age to go into. On each side of the solarium there are these little areas that you can go into that give great views. On previous Voyager class ships these doors would lead to the Peekaboo Bridge which gave you a sneak peek at the bridge area. On Navigator they give you a quiet place to go on Sail Away that gives you a really great view. The rest of the solarium is through these doors. There is a pool in the middle, hot tubs on each side, and plenty of space to lounge around. The solarium has its own bar called the Solarium Bar, where you can get a nice drink while you're lounging around. And there is a space with shelves that you can put your belongings so you don't take up the chairs. As we head through the doors onto the actual pool deck, you'll find the Tide and Trail, which is where you get your scuba equipment, and the Towel Area, which also has life jackets. On each side of the pool deck, there is a lot of seating. These comfortable couches are a great place to grab a snack and just relax. You can also play cards out here, which we've seen a lot of people do. On each side of the pool deck you have El Loco Fresh on one side and on the other side you have Johnny Rocket.
and in the middle of the pool deck, right next to the lime and coconut, is your soft serve ice cream place, one of my favorite places on the ship. Now let's head up the stairs to deck 12 and check out the rest of the pool area. Deck 12 is where the casitas are, which are gazebo type areas that you can rent by going over to the lime and coconut. There is also a hot tub on each side of deck 12. The jogging track is also on deck 12. I am not the biggest fan of jogging tracks on the pool deck. I much prefer the Oasis class setup where it is down below on deck five. Back down on deck 11, we told you about El Loco Fresh. If you have more questions on it, make sure you watch our video on the food from Navigator of the Seas, where we go in detail of each venue and what food is good and what food is not. If you'd like a good burger on the pool deck, Johnny Rockets is always good. But do remember, this is a specialty restaurant and it is an additional charge unless you have the specialty dining package. One of the coolest bars on deck 11 and deck 12 is the Lime and Coconut. The Lime and Coconut is the main bar for the pool area, 
and the very top of it has a really chill, really nice place to hang out. On the second floor of the Lime and Coconut Bar is where the live music takes place, normally a steel drum or reggae band. We love the Lime and Coconut, and at sunset it has some of the best atmosphere of anywhere on the ship. It also has some of the best views and seating area of anywhere on the pool deck. We would rate the Lime and Coconut as a can't miss venue aboard Navigator of the Seas and recommend you definitely check out all three levels. Deck 14 on board Navigator of the Seeds is called the Viking Crown. The first venue you come to in the Viking Crown is the Cosmopolitan Club. This area has dancing and live music, and usually the late night parties are up here as well. Also located in the Viking Crown is the Sweet Lounge, an area for sweet guests. We were not, so we didn't go in there, but let us know how it is. The Viking Crown has floor-to-ceiling windows and gives some of the best views of the ship. It's a great place to just grab a drink and sit down in the big comfy chairs and relax. Also located in the Viking Crown on Deck 14 is the Royal Escape Room. This is obviously an escape room at sea. We have not tried it, and we haven't really heard anybody else that has tried it, so if you have experience with this, let us know how it is in the comments. Now let's talk about some more food venues. Navigator of the Seas feels unique because it has specialty dining and the Windjammer all in the same location. At the entrance of the Windjammer, when you get past the Washi Washi stations, on the right hand side you'll have Chop's Grill, and on the left hand side you have Jamie's Italian. Chop's Grill is a traditional steakhouse. It is on almost every single Royal Caribbean ship. This location has gigantic windows and a great view. Jamie's Italian is the Italian restaurant on board. It has a very similar menu to like Giovanni's Italian Kitchen, which is on Wonder of the Seas. And again, it has gigantic windows and a great view from the restaurant. Now 
now let's talk about the Windjammer. We also talked about the Windjammer in our video about the food on Navigator of the Seas. So make sure you do check out that video. But as a recap, we love the Windjammer on Navigator. It was recently remodeled when it went through the amplification. The bar area is super nice. The seats are comfortable. The views are really good. And the food was actually surprisingly good and much better than the main dining room. We recommend going to the Windjammer right when it opens or right before or about an hour before it closes in the evening. Our favorite place to sit in the Windjammer is at the very back of the ship, right next to the windows so we have a great view of the ocean. The Windjammer is a buffet, if I didn't mention that already, which a lot of different styles of food and it is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I already mentioned a couple of the specialty dining restaurants, but our favorite is Azumi. Azumi is located on deck 14 in the Viking Crown as well. It is probably the best set up Azumi of any of the ones that we have been to. Again, floor to ceiling windows, great view of the ocean. Overall, really good experience at this restaurant. The main dining room on Navigator of the Seas is located on decks 3, 4, and 5. To get our review of the main dining room, watch our video for the food on Navigator of the Seas or our review of our Navigator of the Seas cruise. Now back up to Deck 12, we're going to talk about Adventure Ocean. Adventure Ocean is Royal Caribbean's Kids Club, where you basically drop your kids off and they do activities all day. We don't have children, but on the first day of your Royal Caribbean cruise, they do an open house that you can check out this area. This is also the time when you can reserve or request that your kids are able to come here.
As I said, the Challenger's arcade is also located in this area. This is where the video games and arcade machines are. Attached to Adventure Ocean, but with the main entrance on the other side of the sports zone, is the living room. The living room is the teen's hangout area. You have to be a teen to go there. They also do an open house on day one so you can check it out and see if it's appropriate for your children. Next to the living room there is a really cool sun deck right behind the, the uh, flow rider that's pretty quiet and not a lot of people go there. Great place for sailing. Also located on deck 12 is the Vitality Spa. The Vitality Spa is where you get all your spa treatments at, including massages, separated from the Vitality Spa on the other side of the ship at the back is the gym. The gym on Navigator of the Seas has plenty of fitness equipment from treadmills to ellipticals to rowing machines and free weights, tons of stuff to actually work out with. The gym also does several classes including yoga, spin, and aerobics.
areas of any Voyager class ship is the outside walking track. This outside area spans decks 4 and 5, and it includes the helicopter pad at the front of the ship. This outdoor walking area includes the smoking area on deck 4, also has several shuffleboard courts, if that's what you call them, courts, areas, play areas, I guess. And near the back of the ship, in an area that's just right outside the main dining room, has some of the best unobstructed views of the ocean on this ship. This area would be very similar to the jogging track on an Oasis class ship, but unfortunately with the stairs they couldn't put the jogging track here on the Voyager class ship. We enjoy coming out here on every single time we're on a Voyager class ship, and it's some of the best places to see wildlife like whales and dolphins.
everyone, that concludes our full ship tour of Navigator of the Seas. If you have any questions about the venues, the bars, the restaurants, or any of the public spaces aboard this ship, let us know. We really enjoyed our time on this ship, and we cannot wait until our next cruise aboard Navigator of the Seas. If you have comments, leave them in the comments section below. And as always, please make sure you like and subscribe. 